The first thing you need to know about the new plug-in hybrid version of the BMW X5 is that the EPA rates its electric-only range at just 14 miles, and, of course, your results may vary. Which is another way of us saying that you'll need good luck to go even that far between charges. So you shouldn't expect the X5 X Drive 40E to be a Chevy Volt writ large. Commuting on electricity is possible only for those who have a very short drive. A 14-mile range would be just enough to allow you to traverse Manhattan from north to south, or vice versa, assuming mild traffic. Plus, the top speed in EV mode is 75 miles per hour, so if your commute includes any expressway driving, you're better off selecting the save battery mode and reserving the EV driving for city streets. Also, in EV mode the X5 X Drive 40E needs 22.6 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour that is just 0.8 second quicker than a 2011 Smart Fort Woed. And it should be noted that using the inline 4 to charge the battery, as also occurs in save battery mode, is hardly an efficient practice. If saving dollars at the pump is your goal, leave the X5 in Auto E Drive, Hybrid mode and plug it in as often as you can. We averaged just 21 pch, which is lower than expected. To be fair, our result may have been slightly dragged down due to a few drivers using the engine to charge the battery in order to experience the EV mode. By comparison, an X5 X Drive 35D returned 25 miles per gallon in our hands. The diesel also boasts a 6 mile per gallon advantage in the EPA highway ratings, at 31 miles per gallon versus the 40E's gasoline only 25 mile per gallon score. The diesel also has a 1 mile per gallon higher EPA city rating of 24 miles per gallon. The diesel also is $4,400 less expensive. But diesels don't have the eco friendly cachet of a plug in hybrid, especially now. The X540 E is a very conventional hybrid setup. It pairs a 2.0-liter turbocharged inline 4 with a 111 horsepower electric motor and an 8-speed automatic. The engine on its own makes 240 horsepower and when combined with the motor can deliver up to 308 horses, which is very close to the turbocharged inline 6 that powers the X535 I. But whereas the 35i's engine must motivate 4,934 pounds, the 40e's batteries mean it's saddled with 5,283 pounds, thus, the 40e trails the 35i to 60 miles per hour by 2 tenths, at 6.2 seconds. That difference, however, is largely irrelevant in everyday driving. There's never a feeling that a measly 2.0 liters isn't enough. The X540E has more than adequate power. Plus, the hefty 5-seater is dynamically sound. It carries its weight well, pitching and rolling like any big SUV, but without the extra commotion associated with poorly tuned dampers. This is no backroad carver, but it's not supposed to be.